I want to welcome John Elway, who is the legendary quarterback, of course. He's also a Denver Bronco executive. He uh, has been very successful in business. And you're going to talk to me today about the business of being John Elway and also a new business venture that you're doing right now. Well, I've, I've uh, been hired to be an ambassador to uh, Neptune Technologies and Bioresources, which produce, um, you know, Neptune krill oil. And uh, it's just an omega-3 and the things that uh, um, I started off taking fish oils probably a year ago. And it's funny that my son kind of brought up the fact, have you ever heard of krill oil? And uh, that How was kind of the, son? he's 21 years old. And okay. so he, uh, he takes the omega-3s and takes krill oil. And, and uh, he was the first one to introduce me to it or tell me about it. And then I um, uh, was fortunate to, to create a relationship with Neptune. And, and uh, now we're, uh, you know, I'm, I'm part of their team to, uh, to get krill oil out there, Neptune krill oil and KO, and, and, and get the message out to people of the benefits of the omega-3s, which there's so much on the future, and there's so many tests going on right now that uh, it's amazing some of the positive results that are coming back from the tests running on the omega-3s and what they can do. And this is really memory and brain function, right? That and cardiovascular also, and also uh, there's anti-inflammatories, which has the next 16-year-old you know, player in the NFL, uh, inflammation is a problem with me at times, and, and NKO has proven to me uh, to be very beneficial. And when you look at your past, um, between now and your post-career, what are some of the other businesses that you've done that have been successful? Well, I've been in the car business. Uh, I got in the car business right. when I was still playing, and and, uh, and then I ended up selling to Auto Nation back in 1998, but then have since got back into the car business. And so I'm um, involved in the car business, I have a couple uh, three dealerships in California and two in Colorado, and then I'm also in the restaurant business. Um, I have three restaurants, in, two in the Denver area, and then one, one up in Vail, Colorado. And so um, I have plenty of things going to, uh, to keep me busy, but also very fortunate to have uh, great partners and, and great people that make it work day in and day out. So many unique things about you. You were a successful quarterback, and now you're working in the front office. You probably know the most about managing the transition uh, from the, the playing to the retirement. What did you know that a lot of the other players don't know? Because a lot of them have not done as well as you have with their brand. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that anybody knows. I think it's, I think every player probably goes through the same thing. It's just a matter of how you deal with it. And I thought that, uh, and, and for me, when I got done playing uh, football, I knew I was a young, I was 38 years old when I retired from football. I knew when I got into football that uh, at some point in time my football days were going to be over. And so it was always a goal of mine to be successful um, at something else outside of football when I did retire. And so that's why I, I delved into the car business while I was still playing, to try to prepare myself um, for my post-retirement years and to be able to learn the business. And so it's always been in the back of my mind knowing that uh, you know, football was always going to be a, a short term as far as hopefully my lifespan. It was going to be a small piece of my life and want to be successful in other areas when I got done. Uh, and you must just consistently be drilling this into the heads of a lot of the young people you work with, that you're not always going to be able to play football. What are you doing to prepare yourself? And I think that's always the emphasis. And I think the, the NFL is, does a tremendous job of trying to teach the young, the young kids coming into the league and how to handle their money and, and how to prepare for pro, their post-football careers. And, and uh, you know, that's just something that continues. The NFL continues to work on uh, year in and year out. And, and I think the knowledge out there, especially with the kids coming in, even though you still hear about a lot of horror stories out there, I think the knowledge... Um, you know, by the kids coming in, at least the basis is a lot there more than it, more than it's ever been. We try to help them with the transition and try to help them when they come out of college, not only the transition to the NFL, but also the transition within the community, you know, how to set up bank accounts and all those type things that we've, yeah. with our player development, we have tried to set that and, and acclimate these players within the community. And I think it's, it's uh, we're seeing some benefit from it. You're seeing some benefit from it. Are you now, as you move forward uh, with the Broncos organization, what is your forecast for next year? You know, we take it one year at a time. Obviously, obviously, when you get a guy like Peyton, he gives you an opportunity to compete for a world championship. And that's really why we're all, that's why I'm in this business, is I want an opportunity to compete for a world championship and, and uh, you know, be very successful on the football side and have also our owner, Pat Bowen, be successful on the business and, side. And, of course, you're going to be working uh, closely with this kid. You're not the quarterback's coach, but he'll be coming to you for advice. Well, uh, and 
every little bit that I can help out with, I, I'm thrilled to do with, and the experience that I've gained to be able to help Peyton or all the other quarterbacks that we have for that fact. Um, you know, I would love to be able to try to help What's out. the dynamic uh, between you and Archie? You know, I actually met Archie when I was first coming out uh, of school uh, in 1983, and I had a chance to uh, to meet Archie. And actually, I was a fan of Archie's when he played in the NFL and when he was played at Ole Miss. And and uh, so we've had a good relationship. And uh, I haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time around Archie, but uh, uh, I can see how Eli and Peyton turned out the way they turned out because of uh, the way Archie handles himself and the way he goes about his business. Yeah, well, what are the odds that uh, that would happen? I mean, there's got to be some insight that you two guys have that you could share with the world about being a, the best quarterback. You well, be. yeah, and I think that there's, you know, obviously Peyton had Archie and that background, and, and Peyton has Eli, and Eli has Peyton, and Eli has. So I, I'm sure that they share. Uh, stories all the time and and uh, what I can do to help Peyton share stories when he has questions and he's a guy that is very interested in learning everything he's a very detailed guy and works tremendously hard and so um, I hope to, that that uh, there's some things that I can give to Peyton that will help make him a better player okay and with John Elway I'm Lee Hawkins we'll see you next time <laughs>